think that we had Tavi and Moy123, and I think they're already underway. Yes, here we go. We can so jump straight into the action. So this is like, I could say, perfect timing as well <laughs> that we get the game running at the same time. And uh, tell us a bit about these two guys. I think Tavi has uh, some kind of uh, reputation behind him as well. Yeah, the Tavi is actually the team leader. Uh, com uh, Team manager, yeah, mm -hmm. team manager. So basically, he's managing the Ligurid, the Glass Rail team. All right. I don't know. I don't know anything more about that, but I just heard, and also from the Twitter, I have seen that status on him. <laughs> <laughs> of course, and I remember Moy One Two Three as well, a uh, person that I've run into a couple times on the uh, social media as well. Yeah. Uh, I think he uh, one of one of the admins of the tournament. Yeah, actually, both are admins in this tournament, right. and these guys are like long, long long-term class rail players they have played class rail since the release i think and they have like played a lot of this game uh, tavi said me like yesterday that he is playing the season pass in a uh, two days so that's like <laughs> he's playing a lot really really mm. a lot so let's see how these guys are playing here yeah, we can see that uh, only one card not revealed from Tavi's side, but you can see a lot of low, uh, low elixir builds going up here, and only maxing up to five, and a lot of small ones. But on Moy's side, also pretty similar, maybe more mid elixir type of build here. Yeah, that's true, and I would say that now here, uh, Tavi has a little advantage, I would say. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, because I, I don't know. I don't know. These guys are, are both good players, and it's really nice to see them on the play. Yeah, you see the well played coming in as well. <laughs> as a little bit of strats already pulled in here. We've got the left side has been the biggest focus on this, and now actually uh, Tavi decides to put a little siege going on on the right. We'll get siege by a is that a night night dragon we have there. Yes, and one Upgrade thing to baby dragon. One thing to mention that this is not the tournament yet. We are just playing a exactly. show match, show match against Tavi against Moy, and we will start the actual tournament in uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes or so. So we got, still got time to watch this and maybe another match on top of up top as well, <laughs> and maybe has a little bit of specialties to it. And uh, a little mistake there from Tavi's side, losing the right side tower. A lot of damage now also onto the base. Mm -hmm. And here we can see, like like I said, the Tavi has little upper hand, but also the Moy has all the chances left. You don't, you never know how this ends, these kind of games. Exactly, and a uh, very heavy siege coming in from Moy. Tavi trying to make, so make the best out of that right side, but I think the victory will go for Tavi in the end, taking down two of the outer towers and has his left side still remaining. Yeah, that's true. But a lot of a lot of unit spamming, so to say, because you know, you've got low elixirs, you can just mm -hmm. keep on throwing units on the board, and pretty clever usage of using the right side at the half mark, or at, we could almost say at the late part of the game as well, because it was heavily focused on the left side yeah. and just countering each other's whatever they throw at you, you just respond. But going on the more active side of gameplay and taking the other side on your advantage, of course, it's a little bit of a risk mm. because you can't repel the attacker that's coming on the other side. But at the same time, he's already committed, so you can go on the right side and try and punish him through there. True. And also, la in the last game, Tabi was playing my card I hate the most, the balloon. The balloon, The yeah. balloon, <laughs> it's, so, it's so, like, it does so much damage that it's hard to counter, at least for me, because I'm not, like, best player <laughs> in this game. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's see how this next one goes. Yeah, I'm starting to like the baby dragon a lot. Uh, yeah. I've been using it in my builds recently, but then again, I, I like using both baby dragon and the musketeer, because usually your opponent tends to have those, at least uh, the, the uh, I'm not even going to talk how low ranking we're talking about <laughs> where I'm playing, but usually everyone has either one of those cards in their build, so they kind of counteract each other. The Musketeer destroys the Baby Dragon, but if the Baby Dragon does make it through, you can take down with a lot of AoE, clear down skeleton armies, and just march straight to the tower and get a lot of damage. Maybe back it up with an another damage dealer or someone to tank it for him. Yeah, and now we can see that Moy is playing the new guard in the game, the Healing Spirit, and and it's, it's really amazing. It jumps on the enemies and it heals all the allies. And that's my mm. one of my favorites also. And another new card on down, the Elixir Golem and the Healer. Both yeah. are like <laughs> Battle Healer. Both are really interesting cards in this game. Let's see if the Battle Healer can uh, keep that Golem up. The Golem will pop for the first time. You've got to be careful with the usage of this one since if they, if they all get destroyed, that's a lot of Elixir going for your opponent. 
so they can counteract it. But it looks like it's working out pretty well at this point because that left side tower is being <laughs> sieged and it goes all the way yeah. with one minute and a bit still remaining here in the first tower fall. Still, however, 500 on the left side of Tavi's tower. Mm -hmm. And there we have the uh, the goblin hut gets exploded as well. A barbarian barrel also trying to intercept with the hog rider, but the hog rider does manage to take down the tower before he goes down. Yeah, the val value of the elixir golem is really huge. If you can, if you can like use all that value, you will you will push hard, yep. and that's really hard to counter because for the three elixir, that's really heavy card. It, it is definitely and a uh, very good usage of it as well. And then once again, a uh, mid elixir build. Well, Moy has gone for a more uh, low elixir build just to keep spamming, but right now it doesn't look like it's paying <laughs> off at all because Moy is in big trouble here and Tavi seems to be the stronger counterpart of these two. You can, you, uh -oh. I mean, he's got his name behind Team Liquid, yeah. so there's, yeah. there, it's no, no small feat to make it that far. And with 13 seconds remaining, looks like Moy is going to have to surrender here as his base is completely under siege and no way to repel the attackers. And there we have it. Tavi will take the second game as well. And I think that was a great start for our show matches here before we start the actual tournament. And I think that was a pretty interesting start as well. Yeah, if you can, if you manage to get the two healers on on, on same time, it's really hard to counter that because yeah. it's a spams healer all the time, always around him and like that's really hard to counter if you don't have any big spells like Rocket or Fireball. Yeah, we didn't really see much usage of uh, AoE spells there. No, no. Basically, these guys, I, I think they want to spam the spell, little spells, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how the next one goes. But in these two, we uh, we didn't see any, any big spells. We only saw the Log and the Barbarian Barrel and that, that kind of spells, the small spells. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we have any big ones here now. Yeah. So with our third and final show match as well, Let's see how this one rolls out. Maybe Moy can scratch one point for himself. And, uh, well, there's the Barbarian Barrel, barrel in instantly getting uh, interrupted there by, was that the Rogue or the Thief? It looks more bandit. like a thief to me. It's the, she's well, bandit, bandit, you know. Yeah. Highwayman, <laughs> you've got a lot of names yeah, for that when yeah. you're even called. All, all going together. Also, a really good card for three elixir. Uh, Bandit is really like hard to counter because she comes so fast to your, mm. to your tower that you you must put something in its way. Yeah. Otherwise, it will rip down your tower really Ex fast. Exactly. There's the battering ram taken down as well. The dark prince. Well, not quite. I mean, was was interrupted by the miner before, and uh, as the miner went all the way to the tower, forced the uh, the prince to turn around and. Start, 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 start focusing on that, but that's a lot of mobility lost as well, and by the time you get on the enemy's side of the map, you're already going to get countered by lots of units. They did manage to get a bit of damage on that tower, around a thousand damage hits onto that, as we're closing on the halfway mark here, with Moy and Tavi in their third show match game. Uh, the actual tournament will start right after this. We're going to have a tiny break once we finish this, so don't disappear anywhere. Of course, we're still going to continue going with this. And then we have a little the bat swarm coming in here. Mm -hmm. Bats will instantly get cleared out, though. Musketeer versus... The big, is that the big P.E.K.K.A. yet? That's a big P.E.K.K.A., yeah. And the wall, wall breakers on the other side is running the tower. And here we can see the Mega Knight. It's it's like I always have to say it like like a German version, <laughs> Mega Knight. I don't Mega know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but like yeah, that that's a big picker right there, not the mini one. Big. Yeah, and this one is the last one of the show matches before the actual tournament starts in six minutes. And if you are not on the board, just jump in our Discord from below. It's a link. You can jump or Discord and register, and then you can join on the uh, open qualifier. Exactly. 30 seconds, a bit less than that still remaining, and it's looking pretty tight here. And Tavi has dealt the most of the damage so far, but with this push, can Moy actually pull it off? There's a Musketeer, there's hmm. another, another Bandit thrown in there, and the Mega Knight will eventually just evaporate every single attacker here. And here we go, here we go. Oh, Skeleton. the wall breakers. Uh, the oh, wall damn. breakers, they did get cut down short, but there is a minor. And we're going for the first overtime, actually, yeah, here in, yeah. this in this show match. And uh, the Musketeer having his hands filled there. Well, Moy is also a very skilled mm. player that, uh, unlike Ashtown, that he, he can't, like, he can't match Davi in here today. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. Davi has won two rounds in a row, and this might be the third one. This might be. 
Miner gets cut off qu pretty quickly there with the P.E.K.K.A. Minions will also be helping out and the bats to counter that. And they instantly get removed. The Musketeers is getting so many oh, free hits yes. in. And the Battering Ram does connect. 300 damage is all you need, but it's not quite enough. It's one so poison close. away. One and the Miner away. just might pull it oh. off here because he already used so much resources, <laughs> but instantly the Bandit thrown in there to make sure that the Miner doesn't get any damage off. And it looks like Moy could be doing it with this push. The Battering Ram is going to go in. And yeah. there we go. There we go. Moy finally gets a score on the board. So this show match ends up 2-1. to one. Not a full 3-0 clean sweep. Mm -hmm. And we're happy that we got... Uh, sorry, Moy on the board as well.